I don't know how to read whatever language that is in the description, so we'll just go for it. Ghost house? No, more of a one screen. Let's see. We've got a dry bone shell. And we can't send it right because I think there's an on block behind that bumper. I don't like the fact that the bumper is hiding it. I think there's a bunch of on blocks beside behind that bumper as well. I think... I think we want to throw it up to switch off. And then the buzzy will put something out of the note block. And then who knows. And is there a door behind that grinder? Ugh. Where are we going? Is also a good question. Oh, there's a key door behind me. That's probably where we're going. So do we need to power away the thwomp and blow up this hard block and activate P so that we can get down there? In addition to finding the key, well, there's a lot to do here. I'm going to try with the obvious looking thing and see where it gets us. <laughs> gets us another uh, dry bone shell and a lot of bouncing noises. Ah, but now if we throw this one to the right... We'll get a P-switch from the bottom note block. And fewer bouncing noises. So, with a P-switch... Something will come out of the pipe? Probably. Let's also be prepared to collect that turn block when it turns into a coin and the P-switch above it. And whatever's going to come out of the pipe, I assume. A spike mitt. And a backup. Uh, I guess we want to set that bomb off at some point, but how? Ah, uh, here's how. Something's going to come out of this note block. What is it going to be? If a lava bubble just goes straight up, we'll defeat it on the way down, and I don't think it'll reach the bomb. I, a piranha? A fire piranha? No, a buzzy so that a fire, a lava bubble pops out of that note block, and we get a lot of bouncing noises and a pow. I think we just throw the pow. Oh, we don't have a key. Is it in the thwomp? Let's try to throw the pow and pick up the spare shell mitt before it lands. Got it. Now we need another bomb. We need to get through here somehow. And there's so much bouncing noises and low time. Uh, how do we ever build it, break that hard block right underneath us? There's nothing left that we haven't used. There's another POW that it doesn't seem like we can really do much with. If we turn off and put the P and the POW in a stack. We can get to that door in the middle of nowhere and it probably goes under the grinder. But could that be useful? Yeah, I'm not sure I knew that either. I wonder if the shell mitt somehow counted as being slightly above 
based on the way it bounced off of the spring so recently. Well, the options are really limited. I'm going to try the reset, because I don't know what else to do, th thanks to that hard block being there. But I don't see anything that was spawn blocked that could be... revealed. I, th I think we would probably need to be on for that. Whatever. Yes, that does indeed come down here. Oh! The bomb! We, we reset the bomb. Uh, we want the POW to get rid of the swamp that was also spawn blocked so that we can throw the shell at the off switch so that we can get the P switch. So, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now we can press the P switch and probably win. Might as well bring a pal with us just in case. Oh, and the shell, but I don't mind at all. Uh, let's not waste the P-Timer. Oh, I didn't, I'm not hearing it. Okay, good. Uh, there was a true ending? Where's the red pipe? Oh, I need a P-State, and then I could hit the top of the flagpole. And I should have had a P-State. Was there a red pipe somewhere? 